What's up, guys? Steven here, Bread Breakers. Uh, I am finding it harder, just harder and harder, um, to like find a consistent time where it's like it's just a good time every week, that same time, that same place, to uh, <clears throat> make a video and do some stuff that I feel on my heart or have just been thinking about or whatnot. So I think what I'm going to start trying to do is it just doesn't matter. Just pick up the phone, uh, do a quick video, and you know, share some thoughts and just go from there. And so I'm going to do that right now. The, uh, the thing that I had on my mind today was just, you know, it's amazing things that come out that gain a lot of impetus, that gain a lot of following, that gain a lot of hype in the media that have seemingly, you know, uh, uh, unlimited funds backing it. And, you know, people are jumping on board and there's a big push from the world that are detrimental to society if you just step back and look at it. They are uh, inconsistent in their application or logic, which uh, often is a very red flag of something not being true or at least uh, not being born of integrity. And Christians just kind of you know scratch their heads and go, you know, what's this all about? But the issue is that we should expect that. Right, things that are detrimental to society, things that are detrimental to humankind, things that um, pull us away from God, things that cause us to be more, uh, we'll say, secular, or cause us to be uh, less dependent on God. Uh, these are things that often we we take for granted uh, that they're gonna they're gonna happen, but then are shocked when they have this you know massive following or huge backing. Well, the state of the world, and when we say the world, you know, in Christian lingo, right, we're talking about just kind of the spirit of the world. Uh, it, it is not for God. The, the walk of the Christian is an uphill battle. You know, if you, um, if you know the old uh, Pilgrim's Progress, right? I mean, the whole thing is a push. It's a fight. It's, it's triumph over uh, what is naturally just kind of there. Uh, that's a great pictorial way to look at it and we need to understand that is the truth it is an uphill battle paul talks about uh you know he uses the analogy of of you know kind of a boxing match or a uh, fight uh he talks about wrestling not against flesh and blood uh in ephesians you know this whole thing you know uh in galatians where he talks about the the flesh warring against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh the natural state of man, of humankind, is to go away from God. That's just part of our fallen nature. And then, of course, when you add in the additional implications of uh, spiritual forces that are against God, demonic forces, satanic powers, you know, whatever it might be, uh, those things, in addition to the natural human state, are uh, are stacking the deck against the things of God. Of course, we know God triumphs. We know nothing can stop the power of God when you have the demoniac there uh, in the Gospels, full of demons, still runs to God, falls down, worships him, wants deliverance. Nothing can stop someone from coming to God, and nothing can pull someone away from God. Uh, but there is definitely a current that tries to push them in the opposite direction. So we should not be discouraged or disheartened when we see. It's, it's easy to do. I do it. You do it. Uh, you know, we see things just trending in a way that's so bad and awful and negative. It's like, what is going on with our world? But we need to be the light to change that. We need to be a voice of love and truth. We need to be a voice of compassion, understanding this is just how people, this is how we are, this is how we think, and we need to love people and have compassion into the kingdom, not compromising truth to have compassion, but with compassion and love, charitable love, uh, speaking the truth in love, as Paul says, I believe also in Ephesians. That's how we need to work it. And people, there's something that resonates with someone who wants truth when it's when it's spoken, when it's taught. There's something that resonates, and now it's up to them to 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 push through and to accept that truth. And of course, we know that's a uphill battle, and we can help people along that path. But let's do that. Let's be encouraged. We can be the light in the world. We can be the light in the darkness, and we can overcome evil with good. I love you. Be blessed. Have an awesome day.